Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add, subtract, multiply and divide complex numbers. So we'll start with the addition first because that's the most simple. Suppose I've got two complex numbers which I can call a plus bi and another one which I can call c plus di. So here you should understand a, b, c and d are all real numbers. So you can define the addition of these two complex numbers and all you do is you add together a and c and then you add together b and d multiplied by i. Okay. So this here obeys exactly the same kind of relation as if i was a real number. The fact that you can um, b times i plus d times i is equal to b plus d times i here. Okay. So I guess that's quite simple. Let me just do a, an example. Suppose then I've got 1 plus 2i plus 3 minus 4i. Then this is going to be 1 plus 3 is 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Okay. So I think that should be straightforward. So next, subtraction. How do you minus complex numbers. So again it's very straightforward. And minus. So you just minus the real parts, that's a and c, so you get a minus c. And then you minus the imaginary parts. So that's plus b minus d. Okay? And if we do the same Maybe we'll do the same example as above. So 1 plus 2i minus 3 minus 4i is 1 minus 3 is minus 2. And 2 minus minus 4 is 6. So that's plus 6i. Okay. So I think addition of subtraction of complex numbers is nothing too complicated. Okay. So I just want to make a note, because I've been using the terms real part and imaginary part, which I haven't actually defined yet. So let me just quickly define them. So if I've got a complex number, which for some reason is usually given the symbol z, if z is a plus bi, is a complex number, then a here, so the bit which is not multiplied by i, is called the real part of z. Okay, and that's usually written R E C. Okay, real part of C. And B is the imaginary part of C. Okay, and that's usually written I M C. Okay, so just because I'm using these terms, I thought I should define them here. So in, in this number 1 plus 2i, the real part is 1 and the imaginary part is 2. Okay, so now we've got to define also multiplication and division. These are slightly more complicated, but multiplication is nothing too challenging. Okay. So you multiply this out just again as you would if i was a real number. So in other words, this will give you ac plus b c i plus a d i plus b d i squared okay but what is i squared i squared is minus 1 right because that's the definition of the imaginary unit is that the square is minus 1 so therefore i squared i can just replace by minus 1 and therefore the real parts are here a c and here minus BD and the imaginary part is here BC and here AD I. Okay. So that's the formula for multiplication and let's just do the example with these numbers I have here 1 plus 2i times 3 minus 4i. So you multiply it out so this is 3 plus 6i from there 
minus 4i from there, and then this is minus 8i squared. Okay, so this is plus 8, right? So 3 plus 8 plus 6 minus 4i is 11 plus 2i. Okay, so that's how you can multiply complex numbers together. Finally, division is slightly more tricky. So a plus bi divided by c plus di. And you want to write this in the form something plus something times i. right? So there's a trick here, which um, you may have seen something similar for dealing with square roots on the bottom of fractions. Um, and the trick is, you multiply this by the complex number c minus di on both the top and the bottom. Okay, So clearly this should be equal to 1, right? And if you multiply it on the top and bottom by this, then this gives you a plus bi times c minus di divided by c plus di times c minus di. And as you expand it, you see why this trick works. So this then on the top, we've worked out here, just d goes to minus d. So you'll get ac plus bd plus bc minus adi on the top. And on the bottom, you get this times this is c squared, this time this is plus cdi, this times this is minus cdi, and this is minus d squared i squared i squared is minus 1, so this is plus d squared. So you see the advantage of doing this, multiplying top and bottom by this, is that on the bottom the i parts cancel. You have plus cdi minus cdi. So they cancel, and the result turns out to be ac plus bd over c squared plus d squared plus bc minus ad over c squared plus d squared times i. Okay, So that's a slightly more complicated than the others. Okay, So again, let's just do our example. So I'm going to do 1 plus 2i divided by 3 plus, sorry, 3 minus 4i. Okay, so first of all, 1 plus 2i divided by 3 minus 4i you multiply top and bottom by 3 plus 4i. So you just take what you've got on the bottom and replace i with minus i. Okay, so this is 1 plus 2i times 3 plus 4i divided by 3 minus 4i times 3 plus 4i. So on the top here I have 3 minus 8, that's minus 5, and 6i plus 4i is plus 10i. Yep. And on the bottom I have 9 plus 16, and the i parts cancel, minus 12i plus 12i. Okay, so this is 25 on the bottom, nicely cancels factors of 5, so this turns out to be minus a fifth, and plus two-fifths times i. Okay. Okay, so this defines the four basic um, arithmetic operations, how you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide complex numbers. So that's it for this video, and in the next video I'm going to look at slightly more complicated functions.